All right, <clears throat> we're live on YouTube, live on TikTok, live on both. And uh, we're gonna be drawing tonight this big old John Deere with a green cart behind it, or gravity flow wagon, I guess it is. And I'll be telling some stories while I do it. And uh, hope uh, everybody enjoys this. We're gonna get started here tonight. We're just gonna start a few minutes early. About 10 minutes early, but by the time people get here, I might actually have something on the board that they can look at. We've got the uh, outline already done, and I'm just going to cover up what I don't need. So we're going to start off on the side of the wagon, and this tire, that's where we're going to start. So good place as any to start, I think. <clears throat> and here we go. So I'm just putting down some base layers of some colors here. Just trying to find where the colors are and fill them in. Do me a favor if you're on TikTok, pack that screen, get me some likes. If you're on YouTube, welcome. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you're watching from TikTok, you know you can get a better view if you watch from uh, from the YouTube. Just saying. We got a top-down camera over here on YouTube, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Pretty good detail. And I'll be answering questions as we go. So feel free to drop some questions into the comment section on either platform. And I'll try to be answering them. <clears throat> Thanks for the likes there, uh. <sighs> Cat and Woodridge. If I'm butchering your name, I apologize. Don't intend to. Names aren't my thing. My thing is drawing. I'm okay at that. Pronouncing names, not so good at that. Where y'all from? Tell me in the comments where you're from. Let's get some interaction going here. It's boring if I sit here and draw by myself and nobody talks say that but if that's what y'all want to do feel free it's free country I'm in a free country I don't know if y'all are okay while I'm right here I'm going to go ahead and do this wheel here too I'm just putting down some white where I see white I'll come back and put down some gray I'm going to start off with my darkest pencil. It's a 6B. It's super soft. Oh, Roper's here. Is it Roper? Is that how you pronounce that name? Roper or Roper? Do I have the first time? Roper, I think. All right. Like, like roping a cow. Roping a steer. Is that how you pronounce that? Or am I completely off base? I might be. Not sure if I posted this outline or not. This is a last minute outline. I decided after I did the others that I was doing this one. Um, I normally try to post my outlines ahead of time. Give a little bit of a heads up to people of what I'm uh, planning on drawing for the week. But I'm not sure if I did this one or not. remember doing this one see last week I did that tractor for my brother the drawing for my brother which I posted a video about and uh, after I finished that I was kind of like emotionally and mentally exhausted <laughs> and I decided I might not do as many drawings this week but I already had three printed out ready to go and I'm like well I'm gonna do those three at least that's it well then I printed those out I had them printed out and I Decided I'm going to do one more and I picked this one late. <clears throat> yeah, like rope and a steer. All right, there we go. What's up, catching hogs talk? How you doing? Hey. You, uh, you been drawing anything yourself there lately, Roper? Those ones you sent were oh, beautiful. I enjoyed looking at them. Really, really well done. I 
feel like Roper probably comments on more of my YouTube videos than anybody, and I appreciate that. YouTube can be a lonely platform, especially with that unlike or the, the dislike feature, when you thumbs down stuff. People do that to me all the time, and it just I'm not used to that coming from TikTok land. Or the worst they do is just I mean the platform bans you. <laughs> I'm not used to all that. It's nice to have people commenting on my stuff. It really is. I enjoy it. So I, I said I'd tell a story here. I saw this picture, and it's uh, like a big old gravity flow wagon, right? And when I was a kid, we used to live for picking corn. Now, I was too young to pick it myself. They never let me pick corn when I was in the time period I'm talking about here. But uh, my dad would uh, would run a wagon. It was a uh, Mounted corn picker on an old Farmall M that he would run with a gravity flow wagon behind it. And I would sit in that wagon and go all over the fields. And anytime he was picking corn, I'd be in the field with him. And, uh, well, there was one particular time where I don't even remember what I did. I did something and I don't know if I was in trouble or what it was, but I didn't go. And I went all the time, so it was kind of disappointing that it didn't go, you know. And, uh, well, Pin came out of the wagon as he was going up a hill, loaded full of corn. <laughs> Dang wagon started rolling backwards away from the tractor. And ended up flipping over and wedging itself upside of a tree. <laughs> and, uh, I mean... I should have been in that thing. I really should have. I was in I was in that wagon every other time he went. For some reason I wasn't in that day. And uh, sure enough that wagon rolled over and probably would have killed me had I been in that wagon at the time. But that wasn't the plans for my life, I guess. Because I didn't die that day. Crazy. <clears throat> Working up on a close view of a 1586 with front wheel assist. That's going to be sharp. That's going to be nice. You know, I did that 1566 with a really good angle, real low in the front end, and uh, kind of like angled up. And that's that one of my favorite angles I've ever done for any any tractor. And I was looking at that earlier, and I'm like, man, I'd love to do that again. I can't find another picture quite like it. <laughs> so I've never drawn a gravity flow wagon before. I said I rode in a few. I never drew one. It's quite the story, yep. Yeah. And guess what? I never got to ride again. <laughs> After that, I guess Mom and Dad were afraid afraid to have me in the wagon, so I never got to ride in the wagon again. Probably for the better. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm good to start shading this one out. blender here I lost a little detail but that's all right I don't really need detail in this wagon it's not really a focal point it just happens to be there so we're treating it as such I'll be all right with that still have the family farm unfortunately it's still in the family it's not my direct family but uh, my grandfather passed away about 
I guess that'd be 15 years ago at this point. And uh, the family got left to my uh, uncle. And uh, he still has it, as far as I know. I moved away from uh, that area eight years ago. Actually, the uh, end of this month will be eight years. I moved to Nebraska. That family farm was in Maryland. And, uh, you know, out here I'm surrounded by farms. Huge farms. Tons of farms. Big farms. And I don't farm myself. <laughs> you know, I'm okay with that. I uh, picked a different pathway for my life. I'm okay with that. Kids are, my kids are pretty much city slickers. I grew up on a farm myself. You know, my wife, she grew up around farms, not on a farm directly, but just in the farming communities and was always around, you know, farmers and farms. I was always on the farm. My dad was a farm mechanic for years, so we was on a lot of different farms doing that. We had a small farm ourselves. It was a farmette, um, just ourselves. It was about... 16 acres I think it was we farmed half of that in uh, hand hand picked sweet corn which was enough and uh, all that grandfather passed away three years ago and we lost the family farm that's a shame it really is my grandfather was killed in a farming accident and uh, that's uh about it. <laughs> we moved away from the farm that I lived on. Um, I was, how old was I? It was about, well, I was going into high school when we moved away from the farm that I lived on, the farm at got rid of all of our sweet corn that, which was fine because honestly I hated picking sweet corn and my dad had a full-time job so it was me and my brother a lot of times and my mom working the sweet corn ourselves and then dad would work it when he got home but we spent a lot of time doing sweet corn by hand now, it wasn't bad selling it along the roads that was fun but when we'd uh, have the big, uh, we would uh, sell to restaurants and they'd want it all husk, you know, husk free corn. You know, if you get, you sell, you know, I don't know, two dozen dozen of corn and you're uh, husking it by hand, that gets old, especially as a 10 or 12 year old. say that I miss the farm sometimes I just miss having the land around me you know not necessarily the farm work itself uh, we we didn't have any good equipment we was farming off of old old stuff even my grandfather's farm it's all old equipment so it was a lot of work you know he uh, he always insisted on dropping hay bales on the ground and picking them up and putting them on a wagon even though kick balers were a thing, stack wagons were a thing, he couldn't afford that, but he could, he could afford a kick baler. I always insisted on dropping them on the ground, picking them up. Luckily, most of my time there was driving a tractor because I was too young to pick it up until the last few years. So. All right, I think I'm ready to do that. And let's go ahead and finish this up while I'm in here. And uh, do this light bracket here while I'm right here. Here is food. 
to be dark. So let's shade that in. It'll probably disappear. All right, good enough for now. Let's uh, get the shader out. Let me do that in there. If we just throw that in, that will be fine. All right, we're almost done this wagon. I'm excited for that. I can move on to this tractor. These big old duels. What's up, Derek? 2050. I don't know why for me it's more difficult to read the numbers than it is the name. section here. Three sixty John Deere carburetor. Have fun with that. Okay, Let's see where we're at. Here's where we are. Photo. There's where we are. Looks fine. All right, let's center that back up for a second. I'll work on the tires. I'm going to do these rear tires now. I don't know whether to start light or dark on these. Let's start light. We'll start light and we'll work our way up. Dark. some highlights in here quick looks like the side of each one of these bars has a little bit of light reflecting off of it so I'm going to reflect some light there hmm. which one's this the top would be this one it has a big white reflection across it this one's a little bit lighter but still got a reflection it keeps getting lighter as we go. Alright. Top of that one. Top of this one. Top here. I think as it goes up, it's moving more onto the bar until we get to the top and it's on the bar. That's good. A little more on the sides of these as we go. Just a little bit of white in here. And then down here we're going to do some white on this where the lights reflect and make it look a little bit rounded. That's what I'm shooting for at least. <clears throat> Thanks for the likes there, uh, James. Is it James W Street? Thank you for that. Garrick 2050, you do an amazing job. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Appreciate that so much.
you know, I've always enjoyed watching people draw, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of what I, what I do is based off of what I saw tattoo artists do over the years, and, uh, it makes me happy when people enjoy what I'm doing, because I just remember those times watching people enjoy and watching it. It's the opposite side now for me, and I definitely enjoy hearing that, so thanks for the feedback, appreciate that. There we go, some good old lemonade. Alright, I'm going to use my darkest pencil I have. <clears throat> nice, thank you. Sharpen this pencil quick. All right, I'm going to find the darkest spots now. There's right there. Down in here. Seems like right here for some reason. In front of this, in front of that, in front of that, in front of that. going to be just black. I would want to get some of this done first. All right, so I'm going to grab my white pencil again. I'm using this little short white pencil. This used to be a long white pencil. It's a short one now. Mostly because I use it a lot. I need to stop this week and buy some more pencils. This, this hobby gets expensive. It really does. I spend Quite a bit of money drawing these things. I'm going to need a new drawing pad here soon, too. It's, uh, this one's worn out. What do we got here? This is, I'm confused on what I drew. I think that's that. And down here, so that that. Oops, this. Just a little bit of white in up here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So how far does this go? If I go down here, I come across. And I come down to this. That should get me pretty close. I'm going to put a white stripe in here quick. Just so I don't forget it. There is a separating line right there. And I'll come down here. Let's go across the bottom of this tire. It's pretty dark down here. And we'll lighten as we go up. This bottom is going to be like full power. I'm going to be covering over everything except for these it's like wheel spacers in here. They're not going to get covered up if, unless I forget. Alright, and as we go, we get lighter. Just less pressure. So we have almost no pressure at the top. Just like that work. I'm going to come back 
down here and I'm gonna like just go really dark across here. No light getting down there. <sighs> All right, take my blender. I'm gonna start in the wheel. dogs outside my office wants to come in. Just hold off one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. The dog will keep making noise until he gets let in. He likes to warm my feet up whenever I'm working in here. So he'll sit under the desk. And uh, I couldn't find him when I started the uh, live. I think he was outside or something. He found me, though. should I do next? I guess I'll do, I'll do the exhaust pipe here next. Not a ton of detail in this exhaust pipe, I'll be honest. Not ton at all. I'm going to exaggerate some, some stuff that's not even there, just to make it look a little more dimensional. Looking at this, well, I've got the blackout, pretty dark shadow under the rim of this cab, right? Back of this, a lot going on in the mirror here. Uh, let's get this white here quick. There's a little bit of a reflection there. In that. Some of this I'm going to color over, some of it I won't, and hopefully it'll all blend out smoothly. A little bit of a reflection on the back of the cab. A lot of this cab though is going to be just straight up sun hit that. Just a 
little bit of shadows a bit deeper and here she's dark this I want some white on top of that so we can get a nice gray color and here I come across here and make this look like a window so to make it look glassy I'll go on an angle pretty much every time the same thing just go on an angle and uh, try to drag a little bit just a little bit of that black with me as I go and then we'll smudge it out in a minute it'll look like glass closer to glass Get my blender out now. I'm going to start with the solid sections. That's pretty solid. Doing light pressure, just trying to make that look like glass as good as I can. All right, I'm going to get my eraser out. This is a Mono Zero eraser. It's good for drawing with an eraser. Leaves nice, crisp edges where I need them. All right, that looks good. We can work on that glass a little later if we need to. What's up, Elkhart? Yt, how you doing? Only two people watching. Yep, we got a ton in here. I'll tell you that. Whew. Starting to get real busy. <laughs> Sorry, I've had ten people over on YouTube, so there's that. That's, that's my main focus right now. YouTube channel is definitely my main focus. The uh, TikTok channel is just to get people to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Perhaps if TikTok was to allow me to use different cameras instead of just a phone camera, Maybe, just maybe, I would stick to that platform. But they don't. So, it's what it is. What's up, Yee Yee TV? How's it going? It's going good here. How you doing? Pretty good day at work. A little bit different than what I normally do. I definitely enjoy days like that. And uh, yeah. Mm 
What else can I do? Well, I can do this. Put a little bit of coal in there. This here is a little bit darker. Right there, that's the exhaust pipe reflecting in. That's what that is. Same here. Alright, grab my white pencil before I go too far here. Get a few little reflections in here. Good. Great. Why is he doing good? Not just good. He's great. That's like a Tony the Tiger impersonation there. I don't think I can technically say stuff like that because that's a copyright of Kellogg's. No offense, Kellogg's. Don't mean to be stealing your content. few little spots here I want to go a little bit heavier with and I'm going to start looking through here there's some spots where there's like little reflections I want to focus on some of those for a minute okay I think that's good enough all right I'm going to take my blender streaks on it like it's glass. Alright, just put a little more coal into that and then back across it. Make sure it lined out decent. Yes, she did. There it is. Close enough. I get the rest of the color in I think last thing on this windshield I need to do there's a windshield wiper let's see it comes down here like that right about there with the bar here and then my white pencil just to give it some depth windshield wiper Same with this. Cool. Okay, got a few antennas up here. Very light, but they're there. I'm gonna add them back in. good enough for that move down here to right behind the wheel and you're good I can't even do that good even if I trace I was being a bit sarcastic great sorry for not chatting I'm trying to keep myself from ending up a static don't know what that means but all right
Hi, Ivan Garcia. Dog is snoring under the desk. I let him in so he can sit under here. And what's how's he repay me? He snores under my desk. <clears throat> Statistic. I can't spell. All right. I got gotcha. you. Spieling's never been my favorite thing either. Autocorrect. It's a mother forklift. Dumb jokes. It's my other channel. Jokes from the bunker is my other channel. It's full of dumb jokes like that. And even dumber ones. whole bunch of lug nuts right there. whole bunch of them. Thanks for the follow, Elk Fly High. Thanks for likes also on TikTok. Okay. I will say, it's still slow on my lives, but I seem to be getting a few more people every time on my TikTok or my YouTube tube live. So I appreciate y'all stopping by over there. And if I was just drawing this for myself, still be fun so it's nice to have some people with me while I'm doing it so
I don't want to touch. I want some shadow back here. Let's take a look. There's a little bit of a shadow. I like the way this turned out. I think we can probably get rid of our cover sheet at this point. We're just going to be working through the rest of this hood, another tire, weight bracket, all that here in a minute. Change my reference photo here one more time. That should do it for this this thing, so I can see everything I got going on yet. Thanks for the likes, Saucy1125. Appreciate those. We're on TikTok. I'll come back through. I'm going to sharpen my pencil here quick. white back into this little section right here these hood reflections is what's going to make this tractor look good or bad if I get them good then it'll look good I always try to find the things that'll really stand out and I think the reflections on this hood is what's going to really make or break it for this particular one That light there will allow me to come back into this engine compartment and really make things pop out. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make things pop in the engine compartment. I'm just going to underlay some white and go back over it with the darkest black that we have and give some contrast out to everything else. You know, everybody talks about all my details in my in my stuff. Don't be disappointed when you look close and find out it's not actually much detail. It's uh, it's really not. That's about all the details going into the engine compartment. 
and uh, your eye will fill in, your mind will fill in the rest of what your eye doesn't see. It does better than I ever could. So. so I'll put it in there. I'll cover it up, and in a minute we'll pull it back out. Really, really dark right there. Right there. I'm just seeing that too. That needs to be covered in. Alright, what else we got? We got a little bit of line right here. We got some reflection from the sun right here. Top of that. And then it's pretty dark right there. Hey, dog, you could stop snoring maybe. You hear him? Is he coming through the microphone? He's snoring so bad right now. <laughs> hey, my YouTubers don't want to hear you down there, Rusty. <laughs> oh, Rusty. He's a good dog. King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. And, uh, if you look up, you know, some dogs were bred for hunting, and some were bred, bred for, you know, all different types of stuff. If you look up what a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel was bred for, it was literally bred to warm the laps of old ladies on carriages. So, and uh, he does what he's bred for. He'll sleep under my feet the entire day. Like if I'm working here all day at work, he's sleeping here every day under my desk. And he gets mad if I don't let him in here. I'll start barking. You heard that earlier. So, I was going to do some drawing, but I ran out of drawing paper with that farm I drew yesterday. All right. Well, use notebook paper. Use whatever you got. Draw on a napkin. Never stop drawing. I like this uh, gray paper that I'm working on. It's a uh, toned gray. And, uh, Especially working with the white pastel pencil with the charcoal. It just makes things pop right off this page. It's my favorite. I'm down to six sheets left out of a book of 50 when I started this channel. So I've done uh, about over 40 drawings here. On the channel. Some of them live, some of them not. Yeah. These ones I do live aren't my best work honest with you um, a lot of it is just you know it, it's an uncomfortable way to sit but you know it, it gives a, a good uh, end product uh, for the video more than it does the more than it does the drawing uh, just to get the video capture so it's uncomfortable to sit this way I don't do my best work when I'm uncomfortable sitting but that's the option I have if I want to film as I'm doing it. So, all right, we'll come down through here. Try to find those details we put in here earlier. Still in there? Yeah, they're still in there. Barely, but they're still in there. You see that? Some dummy just smudged my drawing. Oh wait, that was me. I'm gonna clean off this blending stuff quick. Got a little sandpaper here. So we gotta clean off the stump. Works pretty good. That'll pull out the details better. See that? My dirty blending stump. You couldn't see the details coming through.
I've got to do the front grill, headlight area, and the weights. I'm going to do all those at once, I think. That's the plan, at least. So, for the headlight area, I just want to put a line right here to separate it. There's a little bit of a lip there. It's a nice stop in. We're going to head out to the next stream. Thank you for stopping by. I sure do appreciate it. I was run over by a 1970 Case International as a kid. How did I land on tractor art? <laughs> well, that's exactly how. What type of uh, Case International? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 1970 Case International. Case? Wasn't it like 85 that Case International became a thing? I think it was international before that. <laughs> I think you got run over by an international. You're bringing Case into it. Case had nothing to do with it back then. They didn't, they didn't even buy international for another 15 years. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just joking with you anyway. Well, yeah. Ended up on Tractor Talk. We're drawing tractor art. We always draw tractor art here on tractor art. That's what we do. It's kind of what our channel is called. Tractor art. How did you get run over? By a tractor. Tell me that one. I, uh, I flipped one over on me once. It was, it was a little tractor. But I still flipped one over on me once. Probably a 1206. Yeah, is that whistling diesel we're, we're hearing from? <laughs> he ain't flipped one over on him yet, but I wouldn't put it past him. I wish him all the best, but man, I, I don't know, man. He doesn't seem to have enough respect for them tractors. <laughs> you, know, you, you can you can get away with being stupid with pickup trucks. Tractors aren't as forgiving. was almost run over by the drag. Yikes. Flip to John Deere 3020. Wow, we got a bunch of people here flipping stuff over. My grandfather uh, ended up, that's how he ended up getting killed. He uh, had a, it was a 574 International that he uh, ended up falling off of that had a mower behind it, but the mower wasn't running. And he still got caught on that mower and it drug him through the dairy and his his farm. That's how he ended up passing away. have tractors things are dangerous I mean yeah they can be especially if the operator don't know what he's doing <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm not, I'm not saying you're an idiot I wouldn't dare say that I respect my fans dope thank you I agree good I just don't remember what you agree with it's probably the whistling diesel thing I don't know or maybe it was the uh, 
equipment is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing i don't remember there's a bunch of things i said there's like a minute delay on my youtube live stream unfortunately so when somebody posts something it's like it didn't doesn't get to me for another minute See that? Y'all was gonna let me get away with that too. You was gonna let me get all the way off this stream and not draw that mirror, weren't you? <laughs> that mirror's hanging out there too. Long mirror. Okay. Get my blender out. Last little thing here. Blend that mirror in. All right, what did I miss, y'all? Other than the uh, shadow that goes right here. What do you think? here at the bottom of this wheel. That's better. Cool. Now I just got to sign her yet. I'm going to sharpen up my white pencil good and we'll sign her right here. I think that's a good a spot as any. Oh, I see one more spot I need to work on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Dull that out a little bit. I like it. Okay. think <clears throat> pastures no time I fell the track my grandpa was driving Woo! I'm getting ready to go live stream do a live stream while watching one <laughs> wow let's see my brother was thrown off a 40 international white tree oh we saw that Already, yeah, where we at? I think that's it. I think that's it. Well, let's uh, 